but look at Ekstrom going for the lead, picking up DRS and going through on the way to turn one. Ekstrom leads, Spengler down to second and watch for Deresta as well. This is a replay of Ekstrom setting things up. There was actually a bit of contact there. I was keeping my eye on Rast coming past Glock, letting him back through. There was the contact. It started, he squeezed through, coming onto the start-finish straight. Crucially, he got the line. And then he just had to make sure with the DRS he could hold the line going into turn one, which, of course, Matthias Ekstrom did. So through he went. Here it was, though and just trying to get as close as he could. Just clipped the back left corner of Spengler's BMW. Sent him not too wide, but wide enough to create a gap. And Ekstrom then pulled off the move going into turn one, or at least completed the move there. So that was happening at the same time that Glock was having to let Rast back through for uh, fifth place. Here's a move. Loic Duval is about to lose a place. Is he? Yes! Sent out wide, coming through the last turn of Blomqvist. Watch for Ecky in the number five car. Can he come through and gain a place? Yet yeah, Loic Duval won't fight too hard, so he gets one this time for sure on the way into the first turn. And Duval gets a bit wide again, a bit scruffy coming out of the corner. Paul De Resta having a look at the inside in the background. De Resta goes through, contact between them, but De Resta goes through in the Mercedes. His foot in the door here for second place is through. Eki through, a minute 12 seconds left on the clock. 55 minutes plus one lap. He might just be too late to get the win, but he's up to second place now. He's the best part of two seconds, though, behind Marrow Engel.